Welcome back Dollar Dan fam. So I am super pumped for today's haul. It's a giant snack haul full of great deals where I will be highlighting a few of my favorite Dollar Tree snack items. And I will be trying to throw up a few pictures of the snack aisles at Dollar Tree because honestly there are so many different options when it comes to like the drinks and the cakes and the candies and the salty snacks and healthy options for still only one dollar and i will also be showing a few gift baskets that i put together using a few of the snack items as well as a few miscellaneous dollar tree items that i think would be perfect for anybody this upcoming fall and winter season so look out for those and as always please like and subscribe and make sure to ring that bell below so y'all don't miss out on any future videos because honestly i have so many great deals to share with y'all and i can't wait to see y'all again but i'm super excited about today's haul so let's get going guys so i wanted to start with the item that is like top tier I'm not sure if y'all miss going to the movies and getting that fresh bucket of popcorn with all that fresh movie theater butter because it's honestly just tastes so great. Well, my friend introduced me to this item and since I tried it, I've absolutely loved it. Dollar Tree has this giant bag of movie theater butter flavored popcorn, or it says premium popcorn in the brand Brims. So this comes in this giant eight ounce bag that honestly is so huge. It's bigger than my head and my head is quite large. So I am telling y'all the truth. It is so good. It tastes like I went to the movie theater and got a fresh bucket of popcorn. So I honestly just recommend it so much. But I did also want to show y'all how I use this popcorn because I did also use it in a gift. So let me get that for y'all. So this is what I was able to make using that giant bag of popcorn. All I used was a bunch of Dollar Tree items. I used this giant bin, which has the same print on the back. They did have this in a couple other sizes, which I'll try to show y'all. Um, but for this, all I did was throw in a bag of that giant popcorn. They do have a few different options on popcorn as well, so I'll try to throw that up so y'all can see it. Um, and I did pick a few snacks that I know that the person who's getting this gift is absolutely gonna love because they're kind of like me, they love nuts. So I've got the salt and pepper pistachios, which are my favorite, as well as the no shelled honey roasted pistachios, which is great because you don't have to worry about like spitting out the shells themselves, as well as these super great fajin snacks which are peach rings. They are so good, so sour and salty. I absolutely love them, especially if y'all are like Mexican candy lovers, these are great for $1. And I did actually look them up online. The only place I was able to find the same brand was selling like this giant bag for like 30 something bucks, which I'm like, I'm not spending 30 bucks on candy, but I'll spend a dollar on this, especially since I absolutely loved it. I really recommend these. And I did also grab a few Dollar Tree movies, which I think were just an awesome find. I picked these up today. Um, they are going to be Paul Blart, Mall Cop, Concussion with Will Smith, the new Robocop, and this Blu-ray that I hadn't heard of before, but it had a lot of big names in it. So I figured I'd pick it up, especially since it's a Blu-ray for a dollar. Had Shay LaBeouf, Sam Elliott, Anna Kendrick. But I just thought that was um, a pretty good little movie haul. And I did see a lot of horror films as well and a few other ones. So I'll try to show that to y'all too so y'all can see a few different options because I'm sure your Dollar Tree has a few different options as well. Um, but all I did was put some tape on the side so it kind of stays standing up where you can see all of the big names that are in the movies or just like the title itself. I thought it would look a little bit nicer in the basket itself and I did just throw on a little bow that I had um, from some leftover Dollar Tree ribbon. So I, I do like to keep some Dollar Tree ribbon on hand whenever I'm just throwing it on like a gift like this. And I put all of that on top of a piece of yellow Dollar Tree tissue paper just because it matched like the popcorn and stuff. And I'm sure y'all are all wondering how everything is just like standing up so well. I have a secret and I stuff. So what I do is I stuff the bottom of whatever gift I'm doing, if it's like a gift basket with all my extra Dollar Tree bags, instead of using like tissue paper, cause I'm like, whoever gets this gift, I don't know if they save the bags or if they're gonna use it for something else, but I figure it's better than wasting a bunch of tissue paper. So I reuse all these bags. I put them in the bottom just to help prop everything up. Um, so that's just a pro tip for y'all because honestly, it does help everything look a little bit nicer. And then um, I just fold the bottom a little bit so it helps 
fill the popcorn a little bit better, and then I just fill the movies in, and the snacks, and honestly, this is just a great last minute gift. If you haven't bought something for someone, let's say you forgot their birthday. Everybody watches movies, everybody loves snacks, so I'm sure whoever you give this little gift to would absolutely love it, but I just want to share it with y'all because I've given this gift out a few times, and everyone I've given it to just adored it, so I hope y'all liked it. So for this next gift basket, I actually used a couple of items that I showed in my spooky haul video or my Halloween haul. I'll also um, put that link in the comments below if y'all missed that video. But um, it kind of matches this whole like buffalo check theme that I have going on right now. Um, so for this one, I thought like, why don't I make like a little baking, like a little baking kit for somebody? Cause I thought this would be like a really cute gift. So all I did was throw in a couple of other of the buffalo check items. I put in a couple pot holders, one of the kitchen towels, and I stuffed the bottom just like I did the popcorn, the popcorn basket. But once I stuffed it, I put this all in a mixing bowl. This is a great mixing bowl that I found for $1. It does have a little handle and a spout, and it has like this rubber ring at the bottom so it doesn't just slide on your counters. So the extra stuff that I do in here, they did start selling these mini utensils in gray. So I thought what better utensils to throw in here than a mini whisk and a spatula for whoever is doing like their frosting and stuff. So this would go perfectly with this mixing bowl. Um, and they did, they do have a lot of different like baking items when it comes to like cookies, brownies, muffin, cake mixes. You can honestly find anything. They have so many different things to choose from. So for this one, I did put in a, bag of the Betty Crocker fudge brownie mix, which you just need to add water, oil, and eggs, which they have all of those items at Dollar Tree too, if you want to just get like everything somebody would need, as well as a full box of the Duncan Hines food or Devil's Food cake mix. And I also did throw in my favorite Betty Crocker blueberry muffin mix, which I think is a great deal because you just have to add water or milk. And then I did also throw in a couple toppings, some chopped pecans, as well as some walnuts. These are gonna be halves and pieces, but I love nuts on anything chocolate, so I thought this was a great idea. Um, and I also wanted to show y'all a few other cake mixes that I picked up, because if y'all are Funfetti lovers right now, they do have the Funfetti sugar cookie mix, as well as the cupcake mix, which makes 12 cupca or cupcakes, and they also have the frosting that comes with all the sprinkles. So if you love Funfetti, this is a great way to stock up on all that stuff. Or maybe if you know the person that you're giving this gift to would like that more, you can just switch it out for whichever you think that person would like more. But I hope y'all enjoyed that gift. Wait, I forgot to show you this item. I wanted to make sure I showed it to y'all because not only is it perfect for the like baking gift set basket, but it is a multi-use item. It is going to be this pot holder right here. It says that it is heat resistant up to 500 degrees. So me personally, um, I have used it as a gift before, but I use it in my kitchen to make sure like where I put my um, spoons doesn't like drip all over the counter. I use it when I take stuff out of the oven, take stuff off of the stove um, to make sure I don't mess up my counters. But I also have this item on my vanity. So whenever I straighten or curl my hair, I like to put it down on here so it doesn't mess up my surfaces as well. Also, because it does have these nice little ravy or ravy, wavy ridges on it, it is perfect for washing your makeup brushes where you can just scrub them on the front like this. This item has so many great uses, so I recommend you get one. They do also have it in a few different colors, but this is just a pro tip that I wanted to share with y'all because this is a hot Dollar Tree item that has so many great uses. So this last little gift basket I made ha also has a few repeat items from my Halloween haul video, but I just want to show y'all how y'all could put it together. So I used that like, I think it's supposed to be more like of a cookie tin, but I figured you could either bake those items out of like the cake mix that I showed y'all or make like a little candy basket with a couple extra like Halloween goodies. So in this one, I did also add in this like skeleton ice cube tray because I thought it was really cute. I figured you could use it for like, jello or ice cubes like it says or make it like a candy mold um i might actually try to do some baking with it so i'll see how that works but they did also have this giant brain like gelatin mold and it's a pretty good size because honestly it's like it almost fits my head um i'm sure it'd fit a smaller head but i thought this was pretty cool i figured you could put it in here with a few um like maybe the halloween candy something like that this is going to be sour apple um i did also pick up these little 
um, Pepperidge Farm Chessman Minis. They do look like um, little tombstones to me, so I thought it would look cute like with this theme. Sorry, you can hear somebody cutting grass. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, but I did also throw in a couple packs of these Werther's Original Candies. I did also show these in my fall video, but I did pick up some more because right now, um, I don't know how many of y'all get the reporter, but right now they have this super great coupon where it says $1 off of any two Werther's Original Sugar products. And it looks like this. It does have those candies on the picture. So I was able to pick up two of these bags of candies for only $1, super great deal. And I did pick up a different one this time just to show y'all. They do have a lot of sugar-free options at Dollar Tree. So if y'all need sugar-free or just prefer it, they do have a lot of different candies and a lot of different like flavors and assortments, all sugar-free. So this is a really great deal for honestly only $1 for two whole bags of candy. Um, and I did also want to show you one more Halloween thing that I picked up. It doesn't really fit in the basket, but it's super cute. So I wanted to show you all. It's just this like happy Halloween plaque. And it has like these little pretty polka dots and I figured it kind of matched all of my themes or even just any of the baskets. So I still wanted to show y'all. Um, but I hope y'all like that last basket because like I figured, hey, this one might be good for someone younger or someone older, honestly. But with all these sweets and candies, I also wanted to show y'all this other coupon that was in the reporter. It's gonna be for Colgate. Um, it's supposed to be for like 50 cents off of like a manual toothbrush or mouthwash or toothpaste. So Dollar Tree has a lot of Colgate products. So you can get a lot of stuff for only 50 cents. And I figured that might be something a little extra if you're giving this to like a little one. You could be nice to their parents and throw in a few little dental options so they can brush their teeth after eating all the candy that you give them. But I do have a lot more snacks to show y'all. So let's get to it guys. Okay, so I am gonna try to move through these a little bit quickly because there are a lot of snacks. I just wanted to show y'all a few of my favorites while I do throw up those pictures of the different aisles and all the different stuff that Dollar Tree has to offer. Um, so like I showed y'all before, this Sahin like sour candy, they do also have some spicy options too. So I've shown these to you before. They're going to be these fierras. They are just like Takis. They taste just like Takis and honestly, um, they're a great deal because this big bag, if you go get a bag of stockings this size, it's gonna be like three, four bucks. So only for a dollar, great deal. And they do have it in two different sizes. They also have this five pack where it comes with a lot of smaller bags. So if you are doing something with a lot of people, you don't have to worry about like touching all of the other chips because they do have the multi packs on that. And I really do love that um, Dollar Tree does offer the multi-packs because it kind of keeps things fresh for longer. So also in the multi-packs, I did also pick up these Rice Krispie Treats in a three-pack and it's a, goodie, a pretty good size, as well as these Austin Cheddar Cheese Crackers in a six-pack. So that's a pretty good deal. Six packs of crackers for only $1. Also in the multi-packs, I picked up these Welch's gummies in berries and cherries fruit snacks, which I also thought was a good deal. I just already ate them, so, but I still wanted to show y'all because they are really great. Fruit snacks are always great to have and they do have a large assortment of them. And the last multi-pack items are going to be these juice boxes by Juicy Juice. I picked them up in fruit punch, apple juice, and orange tangerine. These are a great deal because they are 100% juice. It's not like um, made with like artificial flavoring and stuff like that. So they're usually only $1. At my store, they had these packs two for a dollar. So I got eight juice boxes for only $1 and they're all 100% juice. So this is a great deal. Um, I drink them myself, but if you have little ones that are home right now and doing like their virtual learning, I think that's like a perfect little thing just to have in the fridge that's easy for them to grab. I did also pick up this um, pack of coconut water with pineapple. It just says by the brand like Oka or OK or something, but it is a 6.7 ounce juice box. It's a pretty good size. I also get this in like an aloe with strawberry, which is really tasty. I just couldn't find any today. But these juice boxes are really big and they have this like extendable straw in it that's pretty strong. I really like that straw. I think all juice boxes, it's kind of 
try to do that, but these are a really great deal. I love them. Another multi-pack for only $1. I did also want to show you these next items in case, like I said, you do have some kids at home or maybe you just like cereal in general, but they have these resealable bags of name brand cereal. So I picked up this Cheerio brand as well as the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. Same thing with these. They have so many different options for breakfast items when it comes to like cereal, breakfast bars, pop tarts. They honestly have everything you need for like an entire little brunch or breakfast. So I say be on the lookout for that as well. Um, I did pick up a few healthier options as well because I know when you try to get like healthy snacks, it kind of tends to be a little bit more expensive, especially if you're grocery shopping at like Whole Foods or maybe like Central Market or H-E-B, wherever you do your grocery shopping or if you're doing like picking up some quick snacks from like the gas station, snacks can be like three, four bucks each. So this is a great deal. I picked up this giant bag of Chex Mix. It's almost nine ounces for this giant bag of Chex Mix and they have a lot of flavors. And honestly, if you're doing something with your family, you can get like three bags of these, pour them all in a bowl and you will have so much product. This is a great deal for $1, I always buy these. And honestly, I'd say look out in the reported too because they usually have coupons for that and Bugles as well if you like those, which they carry at Dollar Tree too. I did also pick up these little bag of cashews and have some pieces. I'm not sure if I'm gonna throw it in that baking set to have with all the other nuts, but I like nuts, so I might keep them for myself. Snack-wise, I did also pick up this bag of chips. These are my absolute favorite. I love them, I always buy them. They are baked Cheetos in the flavor cheddar and sour cream, and it just says zero trans fats, gluten-free, kosher, and dairy. Or kosher dairy, sorry, not kosher and dairy, kosher dairy. Um, and it does have a cute little story in the back, but these taste great, great for $1. And the fact that they are a baked option, I love them. Um, another baked option that I picked up are these Good Health Organic Cheese Fries. I picked up them from Hot and Spicy because I love spicy everything, but they do also have them in a cheddar and mac and cheese. You can kind of see the bag in the back. They do also have a little story on here and it just says a fry that's baked, gluten-free too, Organic Valley. So this is also a really great baked option that I absolutely love. I did also pick up a couple bags of pita chips because I love having pita chips with some hummus in the brand Stacy, which is a name brand. You also could find these at your grocery store for like three, four bucks. But I did pick them up in the flavors, um, Simply Naked and Parm Garlic and Herb. And I absolutely love these, they're really great. I did also pick up these like premium looking chips. They look so nice in the brand Terra. They're real vegetable chips. I picked them up in this sweet potato crinkle cut in like a sea salt with like that are seasoned with sea salt. And they did also have this original bag that comes with taro, sweet potato, batata, parsnip, yuca, and it also says ruby dipped vegetables, which these are really great. I love them. They just say non-GMO, but I honestly feel like this bag feels so premium that if I went and got them from like Central Market or something, they'd be like $3, even for a bag this size. So this is a great deal. I love them. Ooh, this is also one of my favorites. They are going to be these popcorners. Um, it says it's a crunchy and wholesome popcorn snack. Tastes like popcorn, but it's crunchy like chips, and I did get it in white cheddar. But they do also have a few different flavors of these as well. But look out for these because this is like a repeat item of me. As soon as I run out of it, I buy more. Just like the popcorn and the tahin, the peach rings, and those other Cheetos. Those are a few items that I just think are so great that I absolutely recommend. Oh, this next item too is one of those that I highly recommend. It's going to be crispy coconut rolls. They're light, crispy, sweet, and honestly just so great. And it does say plus roasted black sesame seeds. Um, these are really great. My family loves them, so I do pick them up a lot, but they do feel pretty premium. Uh, I think that they're worth more than a dollar just because of like the packaging and how they taste. I absolutely love them. Um, for these, they kind of feel like something you'd find at like the aisles, like at Ross or maybe like um, Marshalls or something like that, where they have those like better snacks over there by the aisles where they try to trap you to buy them, but absolutely love these and recommend these. Ooh, I do also have another brand or another flavor on the pistachios. These are gonna be the regular roasted and salted. The other ones I showed you before are gonna be salt and pepper, or salt and pepper, which are my favorite, but I do like switching it up sometime and getting the honey roasted and the salted. 
The last item that I have for y'all is going to be these Ocean Spray Craisins. I absolutely love these because I use them in like my oatmeal to sweeten it up or maybe like in salads. Um, but you could also throw them in like cookies and stuff. But I buy, I used to buy actually these at my grocery store and it would be like three, four dollars. So this is a great deal for one dollar um, and they're also great by themselves and they're just dried cranberries. So I recommend these as well. Super great. So I also wanted to point out this other item because it is super great um, for all, if you're picking up foods from like the frozen section or just some snacks or maybe some drinks, I do recommend picking up this hot cold bag. Um, it's just a thermal bag. It just says holds up to 21 pounds, no ice needed, and it's reusable. So um, it does have these couple of handles where you just pop it open and um, it keeps whatever you put inside cold and hot. And I just wanted to show this to y'all because I did pick up a few items from the frozen section because I know if y'all are having a movie night at home, y'all are probably gonna want some ice cream. So I picked up a few of my favorite ice creams that I've um, tried before and they're all absolutely great. And it's probably items that you've seen at the gas station for like $4 each or at the grocery store for about like three bucks each. But they're all gonna be name brand. The first one's gonna be this Twix cookies and cream bar. They do also have a regular Twix ice cream as well. But I think it's funny because like they're still labeled like, oh, one's left and one's right, which they're not the same. <laughs> um, I did also pick up a couple Snickers item. They do have the Snickers ice cream bar, which is really good. And also the like Snickers ice cream cone. Sorry, I, I overstuffed the bag and it did kind of squished. But this one does have like a full sugar cone, but like the same ice cream that's in here, just in a cone version. These are really great. I did also pick up a couple M&M items. They did have an M&M cookie sandwich. They do also have it with a chocolate on chocolate. Um, I haven't tried that one before. So if you have, let me know in the comments below to let me know what y'all think about it. And they did also have just like the Snickers one, a ice cream cone with like a little sugar cone, in, sugar cone inside with M&Ms on top. But these are really great, especially for a dollar. Um, the two other brands that I did pick up today are going to be this Dove Bar right here. And it just says almond ice cream, or sorry, not almond ice cream, vanilla ice cream um, with milk chocolate on the outside. But I do like Dove ice cream, so I figured this one would be good. And the last ice cream item that I picked up is going to be this Blue Bunny Heath Bar. And it does say it is milk chocolate English toffee bar. But I figured this one would be really good. Um, I also wanna say look out in the frozen section because they are always changing like their popsicles and their ice cream where it's like even like with the M&M or like the Snickers one, they do also have like little half pints or pints of the ice cream as well, still the same name brand. Ooh, and another great one to look out for. Um, I, I threw out the box because I didn't have that much space in my freezer, but they have the Ocean Water Sonic brand popsicles as well as Cherry Limeade brand popsicles from Sonic as well. Those are really great. So I'd say to try those as well. Well, Dollar Dan fam, that is everything that I had for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed today's haul. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing all of my favorites as well as seeing a few of the different items that um, Dollar Tree has in their snack aisle, as well as seeing the gifts that I put together. I hope that if y'all make these, y'all share y'all's creations with me in the comments or on my Instagram page, Dollar Jan. But as always, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell below so y'all don't miss out on any future videos, but I cannot wait to see y'all next time. Bye guys.